today is day 17 for my Bon Maman advent calendar and I am opening up door number 17. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. And let's see what it is. Door number 17 is raspberry red currant spread. Oh my gosh, that sounds so delicious. Today I'm going to be making a potato pancake in my Dash Mini Griddle. And this is a really simple recipe. I'm actually using a blender to create the batter. So this is my blender cup and I have a medium potato which I've peeled and I've cut into pieces. And to this blender cup, I am going to add an egg. Uh, this is two tablespoons of regular all-purpose flour and one teaspoon of sugar. I only have raw turbinado sugar, so that's what I am using. Many people, when they think of potato pancakes, they think of a savory dish. A lot of people like to put onions in their potato pancakes, but potatoes really have a neutral flavor and you could fix a potato pancake any way that you want. You can make them sweeter, um, you can make them savory, or you can just make them neutral, which is what I am making now. This is kind of like a neutral potato pancake, and I'm gonna have this with some of the fruit spread. So I'm gonna crack the egg into the blender cup. Then I'm gonna add the sugar and the flour. And I'm gonna screw the blades on and I'm gonna blend this. And this is what the batter looks like. When you take it out of the blender, you just wanna uh, check it for lumps. If you see any lumps, uh, put the blender back on and get rid of the lumps. I also just added a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. I forgot about that. Here is my Dash Mini Griddle. It's been heating up and I'm actually gonna put some butter on the bottom of it. Just spread a little bit of butter on it and I'm gonna pour my batter into it. There we go, let's close that. And then let's come back in like four minutes. It's been a little bit more than four minutes, so let's open this up and let's check on the potato pancake. That looks good. It's browned around the edges. Let's see, let's see what the other side looks like. It's slightly browned. I'm gonna leave it in there like one more minute. All right, let's open this up. Looks a little bit more golden brown. The other side browned a little bit more. It looks really good, that looks great. So I'm gonna put some batter uh, for a second pancake in here. I'm gonna put more batter, a little bit more batter. Okay, that's that's almost overflowing. And then we're gonna shut that. And we'll be back in about five minutes. Okay, it's been another five minutes. Let's take a look at that. Wow, that looks awesome. So they definitely uh, work better when you fill the mini griddle with more batter. I mean, the first one still came out nice, but look at this. This looks so good. And there's the other side. They're like picture perfect. Now they will kind of um, shrink down a little bit after you take them out. And I have just a tiny little bit of batter left. So this is going to be a very small, small pancake with a few lumps. There's a few lumps of potatoes in there. When you think you have all the lumps out, there's always a few more. But that's okay. They'll cook. I'll shut that and we'll come back in a few minutes. All right, it's been a few minutes, so let's see what's going on here. See, when they're not high enough, they don't touch the top and they don't brown on top. That's okay. The bottom looks really good. I'll leave it in there just a little while longer because it is still steaming off a lot of the liquid. All right, let's check on this last pancake. That looks so good. 
And there we have it, potato pancakes, so quick, so easy. I put a little bit of butter on the pancakes and I am using my raspberry red currant spread. I can't wait to taste this. This reminds me of like the filling for jelly donuts, raspberry red currant. Looks really good. I'm going to taste just a little bit before I use it. I love this. This is probably one of my favorites. They look really good. I'm going to taste them. They are really good. That's what they look like. When you put the potatoes in the blender, these have a really nice fine texture. It's definitely a different texture than when you use grated potatoes. Uh, sometimes I like to make them with grated potatoes, but sometimes it's just faster and easier to put everything in the blender. They came out really nice. They taste like a pancake. Uh, they do have a little bit of a potato flavor, but think about it, what do potatoes taste like? They have a neutral flavor. Traditionally, potato pancakes um, are eaten with applesauce or sour cream, but you can really eat them with whatever you like. I mean, if you think of hash browns, we eat hash browns with ketchup. Those are like potato pancakes. And there's potato bread, bread made with potatoes. You could eat that with anything. So I'm really enjoying this raspberry red currant fruit spread on these potato pancakes. It's also really nice to add a little bit of butter to these because there, there really wasn't any fat added to the batter at all. Um, other than the egg yolk, egg yolk has some fat in it, but other than that, there's no other fat. And butter goes so well with potatoes. You know, just think of mashed potatoes with like butter. Such a good, such a good flavor. The edges are kind of crispy. And obviously, like if you're frying hash browns or potato latkes, uh, they can come out very crispy. These are not crispy. These are more of a traditional pancake texture. Um, the edges are a little bit crispy, that's all. So that is how uh, you can make potato pancakes in a Dash Mini Griddle. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, if it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like me to post more videos like this one. And uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.